you could take a room that was just somber and she could walk into it and everybody in the room was, was uh, having a good time automatically. Today and every day, for 10 years, Gary Christian thinks about his daughter. More than anything, she loved children. A daughter he will never walk down the aisle. I think she would probably be married and she would have kids. Children he will never get to meet. Uh, I think about that a lot and what they would look like and how they would be. And Memories that were robbed after Shane and Christian was brutally murdered 10 years ago. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's been 10 days. It's been a decade full of seemingly endless trials and retrials to get justice for her death. What has to happen for this to feel like it's truly over? Every one of them takes their last breath. They don't deserve to be on this planet. The pain lives with Gary daily, but with the help of close friends and family, he's finding ways to live, becoming a grandpa, and seeing traces of Shannon and her young nephews. If they smile a certain way, they look exactly like Shannon. Sometimes I just think that they came along right when they did to be a part of um, changing me. Um, letting me see some hope. It's been 10 years without his only daughter, 10 years since he felt her hug, but Shannon's presence is everywhere for her father. I feel her when I can do something to make a difference. I feel her when I'm just about to go to sleep. Sometimes I can actually relive something. It's like a dream, but it's not. It's real. But it feels like it just happened. And I love those moments. I have to live. Her mother has to live. The Newsoms have to live. With those brief moments where they come back. They don't get to stay long enough.